so now we are ready to start this chapter 5 in chapter 5 we'll discuss about the different systems different recognition system first we'll talk about the classification according to say type of condenser type of condenser or as per application etc general classification then we'll talk about the different types of air conditions like window split ductable split vrf chill water system chill beam radiant cooling district cooling system etc because if you talk about the air system you'll find n number of options so that's the reason i classify according to the application according to the technology according to the type of compressor first which is which can be common for different types of air conditioners okay then we'll talk about which is commonly used in actual practice in the different systems so many of you know the different types of air conditioning which is used in actual practice like window split etc but we have some advanced options also and we have a central system we have ductable split vrf etc but before this let me complete some theory so you see air conditioners can be classified based on various criteria including the application design technology so first we'll talk about based on application and i think remember we discussed at the in the starting classes the application of this air conditioning it can be for residential or for commercial for industrial even in automobile etc so if you talk about application one can use this for residential projects everyone aware of this can be used for commercial projects like malls offices schools restaurants etc and also used for industrial industrial side again in the industrial side you may find partly for process and partly for home and comfort because again in industry you'll find the office areas also so depend as per the as per the space type okay again in that you'll find the precision type like uh, uh, for a specific process like printing process or uh, like a server room like crack units etc so this is based on application okay next based on the design you know everyone aware of this window anyhow we have this topic in detail to discuss at this level just i'm giving the idea so according to design we have a window ac and this comes under the dx system portable air conditioners portable if you don't know i'll show you where we have a topic at this level just i'm giving a just basic idea next split everyone aware of this split and we have this topic also but this also commonly used next we have a ductable split ductable split means the same concert split but the capacity is higher and we can connect the duct and you can supply the air for multiple spaces but don't worry we'll discuss in detail just i'm giving the idea at this level just uh, the, the name uh, just classification as per the technology later all these types we'll discuss in detail the advantage disadvantage and how it will work the with the images videos etc next we have a package package in short we don't have a separate unit so you'll find a single unit at this level next central air conditioning under central air conditioning you'll find the chillers again in chiller you'll find air cool water cool etc we'll discuss all these types in detail just let me complete this classification next classification is based on the technology you see first we have a conventional air condition conventional air condition means using the vapor compression cycle the technology behind that conventional air conditioning is a vcr and everyone know about the vapor compression cycle what we discussed the window ac work on the vcr the split ductable split all even in chill water system also you'll find the vapor compression cycle in inside the chiller so there is a aspect technology first is a conventional condition using the vapor compression cycle next the heat pump heat pump also a vapor compression cycle but can work in a reverse manner next vrf or vrv you see don't get confused vre vrv and vrf both are same vrv is a patent by uh, the daikin that's the reason other manufacturers they are using this term as vrf but the technology point of view both are same and this also comes under the refrigerant, cy refrigerant cycle but in an advanced way how exactly we have a topic in detail to discuss this is important as per present market in dubai or in india in many locations this is becoming popular the vrf system next chill water very very important we have a detailed topic and you see just the same thing is repeating but this time based on technology previous based on design okay so don't get confused next we have a geothermal heat pump the concept of geothermal we are extracting the heat from the earth i'll give you the idea at this level just remember we are using the source as earth 
to exchange the heat next we have a radiant cooling radiant cooling concept is similar like chill water system but in this we are going to run the pipe below the floor and in that small pipes we are going to supply the chill water okay so it will that this is also a, a special type and now in market uh, for big projects you'll find this at the initial stage of the project only at the time of construction they are laying all the pipes in the floor so that one can supply the chill water or hot water as per the requirement this i'm giving the idea we'll discuss in detail next you have to coolers today only we discuss the you coolers nothing but air coolers next based on compressor type this machines or this system can classify as per the compressor type for example if i talk about chiller say air cool chiller air cool chiller can be a screw compressor type or can be a scroll compressor so again as per compressor also the systems can classify so as a mechanical i believe uh, most of the participants already know the different types of compressors if anyone don't know i request to please go through once for different types of compressor you can find on the youtube or any rnc book different type of compressor because here uh, we are not dealing with the service side now so i'm not uh, talking much about this compressors because here we are talking about the system design not the component designing or not for the service so just i've given the list so if you don't know how it will work i request to please go through once i'll just give you idea scroll compressor you see scroll compressor uh, in that you'll find scroll mechanism you need to watch some videos on this so that you'll get the clear idea and uh, this can be used for commercial as well as for residential systems at the time of classification of uh, machines uh, i'll give you the idea for which compressor you'll find in which system at this level just i'm just reading the types next we have a rotary compressor in that you'll find the rotating element which is used to compress the refrigerant just i'm giving the idea please uh, watch the videos on youtube if you don't have the cons idea about this compressor next centrifugal remember centrifugal is for higher capacity units not for the small units for small windows plate you'll not find this you'll find for large commercial air conditioning like uh, vapor absorption system oh sorry my mistake vapor uh, this like water cool chiller for higher capacity up to 6000 tr next screw compressor this also for you see if if you compare this screw scroll with the centrifugal centrifugal you can expect the maximum capacity next we have a screw compressor in that you'll find the two screws and rotating the screw in between we are supplying the refrigerant for compression next we have this variable speed compressor now we have a, we are using in actual practice even in the split system you'll find this variable speed inverter type so that we can expect the efficiency next we have a digital scroll compressor which will further help to reduce the power consumption and this is more precise compared with the normal compressors so these are the different types of compressor so again the system can be classified as per the compressor we have a scroll compressor chillers we have a screw compressor chillers we have a reciprocating compressor chillers etc next based on the condenser type this is important for interview point of view especially for chillers you see if you talk about condenser type we have air cooled and water cooled and i think remember we discussed this point at the time of uh vapor compression cycle if the system or if the if the condenser is cooled by air that system you can call air cooled system na? similarly if you cool that condenser by using water that system we used to call water cool chiller so remember the major difference between the air cool and water cool chiller hmm. what is chiller we'll discuss if you don't know don't worry but remember this point again i'll repeat at the time of chiller also in detail but if you talk about classification based on the condenser we have air cooled and water cooled condenser so air cooled chiller means the condensing unit is cooled by air and water cooled chiller the condensing unit is cooled by water that is a major difference rest of the thing is same in both the chiller okay we'll discuss in detail but at this level just simply remember if the condenser is cooled by air that system we can call air cooled system if the condenser is cooled by water we can call that system as a water cooled system and this system you can find in chiller as well as in package in uh, in package also you'll find air cool as well as water cool in gulf mostly you'll find air cool package but in india you'll have water cool package also from uh, blue star next just i'm giving the idea at this level you may not get this points and when we discuss all these types in detail you'll get the clear picture so this was just a general classification according to the compressor according to the technology according to this uh, design according to application etc before dealing with the different types of system 
okay so all the system can classify in this in this manner okay so this is just a general classification with respect to the application or system design etc now the important topic start from here types of air conditioners so today let me read the types first then we'll expand these types in detail so if we talk about the types of air conditioning which is used in actual practice first in the list is a window commonly used for small spaces and uh, most of the means i think everyone aware of this window ac anyhow if you if you even if you are aware as per the syllabus we'll discuss because this also a system commonly used in actual practice next we have a portable portable air condition portable means it's like air cooler but we'll you'll find a flexible duct attached to that for exhaust how i'll show you next we have a split split means commonly used the split ac but again in split we have a different types like high wall cassette freestand and cube this is a this cube you'll find only with the i think with the symphony or with one make only you'll not find in all the mix so, but this also a type so i'll show you all this next we have a ductable split you see example of ductable split you can find out on screen just the audio this is a split again this also a type of split cassette this also a type of split this is ductable split and this is a window and this is just outdoor of vrf we have the indoors also and that can be connected with the multiple types so this is a ductable split or only if you talk about this unit we used we can call this as a ahu ceiling suspended ahu next package then air coolers then we have vrf and vrv technology point of view both are same name is different next chillers very very important as per the syllabus and as per design point of view also we have a separate part for this chill water pipe sizing you know? that is for chillers only again in chiller you'll find air cool water cool as per if you talk about uh, this uh, uh, vapor compression cycle in that you'll have air cool and water but we have a vapor absorption chiller also which work on the vapor absorption cycle next district cooling system uh, district cooling system is like a big chiller away from the city and like a service provider and they are providing a chill water through the insulated pipes like like how we are getting the municipal water from from the service provider similarly you will get the chill water in the district cooling system from the service provider in the building we are using the chill water to cool the air by using fc and ahu this is just an idea i'll show you in detail don't worry next radiant cooling just have given the idea we'll discuss in detail next we have one more technology can you explain the district cooling system don't worry we'll discuss in detail this i'm giving the overview at this level next we have a chill beam so chill beam also a new concept in the market okay so just what i did is just i have read this different system each and every system we'll discuss in detail 